Hello, and welcome to Ken TV, and I'm Cartoon Kenny. I've been interested in two catapults since middle school. One day, I decided to conduct an experiment to see which one could fire a projectile the farthest. First was the Onager, which is a spring-powered siege engine. I used a white 2x4 as my projectile and used measuring tape to get the distance. Really the distances, on average, were in the 12 to 15 meter zone for each catapult. It was because the input force remained the same due to variables in the experiment. There was about 185 pounds of force. Alright, tape measure. Zero is at the fulcrum, catapult. And the tape is straightly lit out to where the projectile landed, which was approximately uh, 12 and a half meters. Uh. Trebuchet was the next catapult. I basically moved the arm to change the fulcrum, and I replaced the springs with barbells. The same base was used for all three catapults. In earlier experiments, the weight caused the base to bend and wobble. That's why the braces were added. The ballista was the last one, and actually the first ever invented. It gave me the most trouble because of its complicated triggering system. As you see, it resembles a giant crossbow. I believed it would launch the projectile the farthest, but it turned out the onager won by one or less than a meter for the other two catapults. Now, let's have some fun in the backyard with my cousins, Matthew and Ryan. Welcome to the Ken TV Catapult Special. My two assistants, my cousins, Matthew and Ryan, are loading the catapult right now. <coughs> Alright, Ryan's going to pull the trigger. And the catapult is going to fire! Awesome! Alright, this time we are going to launch the last flower pot. Well, in the wagon. We got a whole bunch more. Alright, guys. They're going to, yeah, they're going to heaven. I'm not sure that's how you go to heaven. So, Ryan, what's the next projectile? An empty soda can. Answer the question! Empty soda can. You sound like it takes a lot of effort to drink a lot of soda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan! Don't laugh! Don't laugh, Ryan! It's not that funny! What's your what do you think our viewers are gonna think? That he's high. Is that all of it? Is that it? Try on your chest, I'm not gonna get all of these Alright, we're gonna see if this empty soda can can go anywhere. It may not because of the. So it's not much mass. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright. Set. Fire! Oh yeah! No damage done to can. Wow. It's a very good can. Do a second can because you don't want to hurt the environment. Ryan, what's the next projectile? A rock that is a rock. That's preposterous. They didn't use rocks in those days. Ready, set, go! Fire! Wow. Yeah! Woo! 
This is a soda can filled with water sealed with duct tape. Let's see how far it goes. Yeah! Are you excited, Ryan? Loaded. Alright, locked and loaded. Ready? Aim! Fire! fire! Where'd it go? What the? Whoa! That was far! Where'd it go? Wait a minute. The seal still stands! Ah, uh, it's leaking badly, but still, no, it works! That's the highest mark! What the heck? Whoa! And it's almost close to the highest mark. Let's reach up to the. That's the farthest any object has gone, and it was a baseball. Paul, <laughs> soda can filled with water works very good. Yep. It's natural soda soda. Mental notes. Good projectile, right, guys? Yes. Fire. What's the projectile now, guys? Two cans of Pepsi filled with water. Get together. Here. Sweet. So much stress. Ready? Set. Ready? Aim. Fire! It's leaking water. All right, fire! Cool. Air. Last flower pot. Let's hope this is a good one. Fire! <laughs> Last brick. I didn't even need to move that far. Switch. Alright. Mates, we are switching to Ballista. Go record. We are going to see if we can take out Fort. All right, pull, Ryan. What's wrong? It's not coming out. Hang on a second. Yeah, I think we're going to want to move the fort a little bit. Ready? Aim! Ready? Aim! Fire! Come on, Ryan! Pull! Was it inside the, the pot? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, it's just frozen. Yeah, it's just frozen. Must be must be fro permafrost or something. It was a bloody battlefield, mate. Oh, black blood, just like Japanese videos. Yes, just like Japanese videos. There's black blood everywhere. They were good. They they were good soldiers, but they didn't. But it's too bad none of them made it home. Ready for what?